Hello everybody, once again we're back for more Roy Story Cubes. We're gonna start with nine more dice like last time and once again make sure to pause the video to leave your stories below. I'd like to read them, I keep saying that, but it is true, that's why I keep saying it. Now let me go grab some dice and we can get started. Let's see how many I've got here. I've got quite a handful. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven and eight. That's nine right here. Wow, well, got all of them in one go. Oh, very good. Now let's roll them and see what we get. And hopefully we'll be able to make a story out of it. But usually we manage it, so today will probably be no different. Even though sometimes the stories are a little bit... Uh... Yeah. You know what I mean. Anyway, here we go. Yeah. Oh, our clown friend's back. That reminds me, I still have to watch a video on creepy clowns popping up all over the place. And here's a pyramid. Here is a throne and a crab, because if you got a throne, you might as well have a crab. All right, the next slide. Don't know why those two would be connected. There we go. And here's an acorn and a monkey. Oh, these two have been together recently. And another story, I mean, a moon and an arrow, which went outside of the screen. For some reason, the arrow is dirty. Why is this a thing? I don't know. Arrow and a question mark. Oh. Well, that is indeed a question mark. Well, make sure to pause the video here, come up your own story, make sure to post it below so I can read it, and I'll see what I can do with these guys. Let's see now. Hmm, interesting. Not much we can do about this sort of thing. Let's see now. Every once in a while, about once a month, when the moon is about, I would call that, 20% full, uh, a certain throne comes into existence. It just pops into existence like that. Nobody knows why. But uh, there is a pyramid where this thing now uh, shows up. And you need... Like, here's the pyramid right there. And you need a certain map in order to get it. But the map, nobody's really found it yet. But um, they do know that it's inside a pyramid because it's inside a book that writes about this sort of thing. And a book was found deep in a forest somewhere over there because that's an easy way to do things uh it was found when a clown went out and uh, creeped around in the forest because that's apparently a thing that they do nowadays and they came across a monkey that had escaped from the same circus but they hadn't seen each other in a long time and they went out for crab dinner because they wanted to catch up on the days gone by and all that sort of thing the monkey was trained to talk while pointing at pictures so uh, he was talking about this book he had seen and uh, the clown was like, okay, that sounds very interesting, but I've never heard of this pyramid with the uh, throne inside of it. Are you sure that that's really a thing? And the monkey was like, yep, I've seen it myself. I like pointing at stuff like ooh, 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 that sort of thing. And the monkey was certain that he had actually seen it. And the clown was like, uh, okay, so I'll just go and find it myself then, because apparently it's somewhere in this forest that uh, the monkey had been in. He had like uh, slept in a tree, and at the bottom of the tree there was a little, a little nook, and that's where the book was. And the clown went looking for it, and he eventually found the right way, because it was a little bit difficult to translate directions from the monkey. He wasn't really entirely sure how maps worked, but eventually he found the book, and indeed there was a story in it about a pyramid somewhere and not in Egypt surprisingly it was a pyramid somewhere else in the world and indeed once every moon 20% full a throne would appear and the story behind the throne was that whoever managed to get to it first would have eternal riches and eternal life but uh, the person who wrote the book would not say where it was because probably they were the one who was sitting on the throne most likely nobody knows until this day it is still a great mystery where this pyramid might be Perhaps you'll find it someday. Make sure not to look in Egypt, because that's not where it is. Not even in South America, by the way, I'd like to point that out. There are some pyramids in South America. That's also not where it was. And some rumors say it might be somewhere off the coast of Japan. Hmm. A bit creepy clown surrounding it. Okay, that's the first story. I'm gonna put these guys aside. Make sure I don't draw them a second time today, because that would make the stories a little bit monotonous. Alright, next dice. I managed to put them in a different bag now, so they don't make so much noise when I grab them, like in the plastic box that I had them in before. Let's see how many do I have this time. It makes me easier, uh, it makes it easier to grab uh, the dice, which is why I'm now able to grab almost nine each time. Let's take a look. And once again, nine dice. There they are. 
couple of blue ones, at least one blue one. Very good. We've got to roll them and see what we get. And maybe we'll get something even better. Let's roll these four. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's a spirally thing. That could be anything. Here's a raccoon. Here's an axe. And here is uh, something that could be just as useful as that one. Now the next five. Let's see, now this is a flashlight almost out of view. Here is a swan. Here is a syringe. And here is the galaxy. And here is an ambulance. Because somewhere in the galaxy there is an ambulance. Oh, the ambulance and syringe work fairly well together. Okay, well pause the video here to make your own story. Hope I didn't direct your uh, bit of thinking with the ambulance and syringe there. Make sure to come up with your own stuff. And I'll see your story in the comments below. I'm gonna take a look what I'm gonna do with this guy. The guy over here, I'm thinking. I'm gonna start with that guy. Once upon a time there was an enormous Doctor Who fan. And he wasn't entirely sure whether he was still in this world or not. Because he had been uh, touching some substances which made him a little bit... Uh, sometimes not present in the head. These things happen. So one day he thought he was a raccoon and he was running around in a forest uh, with a hatchet because raccoons apparently in his mind uh, chop down trees because he wanted to build a hut. That's what he was doing. He was building a hut and it was going to be a small hut. It was going to be the size of a phone box as a matter of fact. He was going to build his own Doctor Who time machine. Unfortunately, he hadn't managed to cut down any trees yet because he still felt that he was a raccoon and he didn't have the strength. One day, when his drugs were starting to wear off, uh, he found a flashlight and he found himself standing naked in the middle of the forest with an axe, which was a bit unfortunate. I suppose he wasn't entirely himself yet, but he was aware enough to notice that he wasn't quite right. So he went and uh, used the flashlight to get back to civilization and he called an ambulance to have himself picked up. But after a few months in uh, going cold turkey in some specialized hospital, he uh, left, he got decharged because he was back to normal according to the, uh, the people who uh, were doctors there. But after a while of uh, having nothing to do in his life, he went back to his old ways because these things, these old habits die hard. This time though, he thought it was a swan and he had finally found the secret, the way to get to the universe. Not with a phone box, but with uh, some more drugs most likely. And he managed to actually chop something down with his uh, axe this time, because uh, actually if you've ever tried to attack a swan or a swan has tried to attack you, they can hit really hard. So he knew that in his conscious human brain and he used that strength to chop down the trees and finally built the box with all the technology that was required, which you just found lying around somewhere. And it doesn't really matter because it didn't actually happen, but he's not going to know that because he's uh, under some influence. And he was floating around in the galaxy and having lots of fun travels. And eventually he lost his mind completely and was never heard from again. So that was that. Our incredible Doctor Who fan found his uh, galaxy traveling ways and then lost his mind for good. That was those dice. I'm going to put these guys aside over here now because the other side is now full of other dice. I'm going to grab the next nine over here. There you go. Now, let's see. I don't think this is nine, but I'll see how much I've got. That's four. That's four. Nope, it's nine again. Great. Oh, hey, my Delipus is back. Alrighty then, let's see what we can roll and what we can make out of it. Do, 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 do. Uh, this is a safe. I'm pretty sure that's a safe. This is an arrow to the knee. This is a landscape with mountains, a river, and the sun. This is a dossier. And uh, this is somebody on a. Th what is this? Let me take a look at this for a second. Oh, yeah, somebody standing on the top of a mountain with a sword and a shield, and these are clouds. They look a bit like a brain, but I'm pretty sure there's a clouds, and that's the top of the mountain with a guy on top of it. Yeah, I think so. If it's not, then it is to me. Somebody else might think it's a brain on top of a weird stem. It might look like that as well. Who knows? It's your story and your dice. You can come up with whatever you like. And here is Sean the Sheep. And here is a guy with a leather. No, he's just wringing his hands together like he's up to something. Here's a bag. And here's a wolf howling to the moon. 
interesting. Make sure to pause the video again to come up with your own story to post it below so I can read it and other people can read it. Of course, I'm not the only one reading these things. And I'm gonna see what I can do. And uh, let's see now. There was an old police station that was getting ready to move to a new uh, precinct. And the last thing that they needed to do when they uh, got through uh, combing through all this stuff was open the old safe because it had not been opened since 1950s. Nobody knew what was in it and the old um, head policeman had the key, they had to call him because he had since retired. And they opened it up and when they did they found a few interesting things. For instance they found a bag with an arrow in it. There you go. And they also found a dossier on a mysterious case of a man who had actually been a sheep herder, but he had since disappeared. Uh, he lived in a mountainous area and he had always told the locals there that he wanted to become like the best explorer and the best fighter. He was actually born in the wrong age according to him and he wanted to be out there fighting uh, battles against all sorts of other courageous enemies and all that sort of thing. But of course the age was not such that he could do such a thing. So instead he would just travel around and eventually he found an old arrow, but not a bow, but he decided to use that as a spear, a very small spear, but still it was a spear. And he went out hunting wolves, which was perhaps not a great idea with a, uh, an arrow as a spear, because it's not exactly a big spear and the wolves tend to uh, be a little bit tougher than a single arrow, uh, but he did it anyway. And it was reasonably successful and eventually uh, well, went far into the mountains, leaving his poor sheep behind to fend for themselves. They, they're going a little bit out of screen, aren't they? There they are. And, but he was fairly successful. He managed to make more than one arrow after a while. He managed to make an actual spear, so he could become the warrior on the mountain. But he ran into a pack of wolves, which was uh, larger than he was expecting one day. A fairly large pack of wolves that uh, hunted him all the way through the mountains. And eventually he uh, was eaten by them. They managed to kill him and the uh, police file was actually on somebody who had gone hiking in the same mountains and found his uh, desiccated corpse near a bunch of other bones which were apparently left there by the wolf pack. And they couldn't quite tell how long ago it had happened, but the people of the uh, nearby village said that he had been living there for many years and they hadn't stopped, uh, they had stopped hurting, hurting, they had stopped hurting, first of all, but they had stopped hearing from him like about five to ten years previously. So he could have been dead for ten years, could have been dead for five, nobody really knew. Either way he was dead and the case was never solved and so they put it in the safe to be solved at some future date. But in back in the present they really weren't sure what to do with the dossier and nobody was really uh, calling for this uh, crime, if you could call it that, to be solved, this mysterious event, and so they just left it there. That was that. Another cold case just left somewhere on the archive shelves. Alright, so that was them. That was him, rather. The uh, wolf explorer, the uh, great adventurer with his arrow to the knee. There he is. Those were my three stories. I'd like to read yours in the comments below, and I'll thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, and bye bye for now.